A good place to start would probably be the box that it comes in. This is what the box looks like. And here are the components that you will get. That is a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch bracket along with the screws for the bracket and the SSD which is the main component. Let's take a closer inspection of the SSD itself. Now here you can see the OCZ logo and I can tell you it does look very slick and it's a 2.5 inch drive so this is this will fit in laptops along with the desktops. Here is the computer that I use to do all my SSD tests. This is a Ivy Ridge MacBook Pro. So it's a mid 2012 model, has Intel HD 4000 and it only has 4 gigs of RAM. And the installation process was fairly simple. You need a Torx T6 screwdriver and Phillips double zero screwdriver. And let's open the MacBook Pro and you will see the SSD inside. Here is the SSD. You guys can see OCG Vector 150. The Vector looks very nice with all the other uh, MacBook Pro components such as the battery and the RAM. Everything. It just looks fantastic if you guys do care about the visual as aspect of the SSD. Now as far as installing process goes, it was very simple. You can watch plenty of videos on YouTube if you are not sure how to do this sort of stuff. The first test that we're going to be doing with the SSD is the startup time. So right now I have OS X Yosemite installed on the SSD. So let's see how long it takes to boot up the Mac operating system with this SSD. So let's hold this as soon as I click the or press the power button I'm gonna let go of my finger. So let's do that. Seven on the corner. It's about to be done. So around 16 seconds. I would say it's around 16 to 17 seconds. Okay, now let's test the shutdown time. So I'm going to click shutdown and then as soon as I click this button, if you guys can't see here, there you go. Are you sure you want to shut down? I'm going to start the timer. So let's do that. And boom. Around two seconds. That's not bad. And I do have file hold off. If you have that on, it will extend it by around two to three seconds. Right now what I'm going to do is do the SSD test. If you guys don't know what it is, is opening up every single application on your computer or, or on your Mac at the same time and see how it performs. If this was a hard drive, it would just completely fail. The computer would just hang up and not work. So let's see how that works. So you want to select all the application by holding com uh, command A and then right click it and then click open. And let's see how that performs. As you guys can see, the computer is working just fine. So right now, I'm just going to uh, select a single application and see if it is running smoothly. So let's do Command Tab and select Steam. So you guys can see all the application that I have running at this point. So let's open up Steam and see how smoothly it is running. So I'm going to cancel that. As you guys can see, scrolling smooth everything is working like it should so let's select I don't know massively multiplayer and yeah things are still working even though I have all this application open now if I was running this thing on a 5400 RPM the computer would freeze up and not respond to me I would have to force shot down and things would be back to normal but it's SSD it doesn't matter so if you want to close all the application what you can do is hold command alt ask and this window will pop up let's zoom in a bit and then you want to select the first application from here and then hold shift and select the last application uh, command A won't work inside this window for some reason so you do have to use the shift method and force quit and force quit and all the application should close immediately so here and I can open up my Chrome and computer is 
how it's supposed to run. So that is the benefit that you get from buying a SSD. Now what we're going to do is run a synthetic benchmark. So let's try Blackmagic speed test, one of the most popular application to test your SSD. So let's see how that performed. So let's try speed test. So now this will test for sequential read and sequential write. This is not really real world performance, but it still is cool to see because if you can look at the other SSD like 840 Evo and compare that against this uh, SSD. So around 429, so let's zoom in a bit. So I'm looking at 424 and then 493, 494. So it's rated at 450 megabytes per second write and I think 550 read. Uh, I'm not getting 550 read at this point, but for some results I did get over 500, but not everything. This is a pretty good speed that you can expect from this SSD if you run, if you run the benchmark. I will have a link to this SSD in the description if you guys want to check out uh, it will be an Amazon link and as far as the SSD goes I'm really impressed with it I would definitely recommend buying SSD for your MacBook Pro you will see a huge difference anyway guys thank you for watching like this video if you liked it and dislike it maybe don't dislike it